Hi, I'm Ken German, and I'm here today with Jessica Dolcourt. We're going to do performance testing comparing the Verizon iPhone with the AT&T iPhone. We're going to break the test into four parts, starting first with a test of the number of bars in each location, and then moving along to signal strength, including upload and download speeds. And then we'll try uploading a sample photo to Facebook and loading a sample web page. We're going to go to four known trouble spots in San Francisco, starting first with the CNET garage. The first thing we're going to do is look at the number of bars on the signal meter on the display. So it looks like this Verizon phone has five full bars on it, and that's staying pretty steady. And on the AT&T phone, we're going back and forth between four and five, so it's not current. So every few seconds it switches. Next, we're going to look at the upload and download speeds and the signal strength as measured by the Root Metrics app. Okay, well this one, the Verizon yeah. phone finished first. Okay, we'll wait a couple more seconds. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now the AT&T phone actually took a lot longer to complete the test. We're seeing four bars for the signal strength. The Verizon iPhone, as you can see, signal strength is a full five bars. And then the download speeds were seeing 40 kilobits per second. Download speed was 518 kilobits per second. Upload speed was 149 kilobits per second. AT&T, for the upload speed's 28 kilobits per second. Now it's Facebook time, and we're gonna upload photos to Facebook. Verizon got it. Is done. Yeah. Now it's done. There we go. And now on to our fourth and final test, loading a website. We're going to use giantbomb.com, which is a site that CNET Labs uses when they test browser load times. And it's the Verizon And iPhone. the Verizon keeps this first. Uh, still looking at the AT&T. It has loaded the banner. But uh, and there come the rest of the photos. And it looks like your AT&T iPhone has full bars right now, too. Yeah, it is just taking a little longer. So the AT&T is still going, and just about done. And the AT&T is done. We're here at our second stop in Treasure Island. Kind of a balmy day. Well, actually, not really. <laughs> it's freezing, but we've got a job to do, so we're going to start our second round of tests. Since we got here, the bars on the Verizon iPhone have been bouncing back and forth between 4 and 5. Right now it's holding steady at 5, but it will fluctuate a little bit. Pretty much the same story with the AT&T phone. It has gone up to 5, but it does bounce back and forth. On to the second test. So Verizon was the first to finish. And we're still waiting on AT&T. Wait a few more seconds. Oh, there we go. So here we've got five bars of signal strength for Verizon. On the AT&T side, we have four bars of signal strength. Download speeds are 189 kilobits per second. A download speed of 440 kilobits per second. Upload speed of 66 kilobits per second. And upload speeds are 24 kilobits per second. Done. Okay. Verizon finish first. Okay. Ah, there we go. Yep. AT&T did take a lot longer that time. Looks like it's fully loaded. Yeah. AT&T wins that time. I know, this is not Verizon a full has, sweep. Verizon has been a little stuck there. Up. AT&T actually won this time by 30 seconds or so. Now at our third location in San Francisco's financial district. And we're testing. Number of bars, Verizon iPhone here, full bars. Full bars on the AT&T iPhone as well, and neither of them is fluctuated. We're getting good at this synchronizing thing. Oh, 
Verizon and finished first. This is not so much of a trouble spot after all. The Verizon iPhone has five bars of signal strength. And on the AT&T phone, we also have five bars of signal strength. Download speed is 651 kilobits per second. We have a download speed of 116 kilobits per second. Upload speed 173 kilobits per second. And an upload speed of 55 kilobits per second. Verizon won again on this test. Followed shortly after by AT&T. It's coming up a little quicker, but it's not unloading. But now it is. Verizon is loaded, AT&T is still lagging. Probably about halfway done. And AT&T is done. So followed after a few seconds. We're here at our final stop. It's a place that I've had a lot of trouble in the past with all carriers. We're at top of Market Street near Twin Peaks. Fourth round, test number one. The Verizon bars are holding pretty steady at four and five, although I did see the bars drop down to two and three. And on AT&T, when we first got here, it was one, it got up to three, and it's been five pretty steady. Oh, Verizon finished first, followed shortly thereafter by AT&T. So for Verizon, our test results, five bars of signal strength. And on the AT&T side, we also have a signal strength of five bars. Download speed, 543 kilobits per second. Upload speed, 174 kilobits per second. Upload speed is actually more, 130 kilobits That's per second. That's kind of the best speeds that the iPhones had yeah. all day on AT&T. Definitely. Now in our third test, the photo upload test. Well, at and actually beat it by a just very, very short amount of time. Our fourth and final test, page loading. So, looks like at and is going faster, but Verizon's not so. Verizon's done. Verizon actually finished first. at and followed just a second or two behind. Well, we went to all four locations, and the Verizon iPhone did win the majority of the time. The only time the AT&T iPhone won were here on Twin Peaks with the photo upload test and on Treasure Island with the browser upload test. We're going to have a lot more details for you, a full review of the Verizon iPhone, plus some tests from our CNET lab, so be sure to check them out.